Hello everybody, happy Friday, and as promised, we are now going to look at some football shirt leaks that have sort of uh, appeared over the last sort of month and a month and a half since I last did my first look at next season's shirts, and we have quite a number of uh, additional shirts and clubs to look at. Uh, we're going to be generally focusing on sort of the major teams, mainly because it's a little bit more easier and more accessible to find those leaks. Like always, the disclaimer is these are not guaranteed necessarily to be the final releases, um, but we are getting towards the end of the season, which is kind of when a lot of the next season shirts are released and sometimes even worn. So uh, don't be surprised if once this video is released or maybe the weeks coming after it, that these shirts are actually available to buy in the stores. Now, one quick note before I do uh, continue with the video is that my next video will not be released on Monday. It will be released on Wednesday because if all goes to plan, and trust me, there's a hell of a lot of planning involved, it will be my overhaul sort of um, shirt showcase video that I do once a year where I will get every single one of my shirts out and put them in a single video. Each year, the video gets more and more difficult because, as you can imagine, more shirts are added to my collection throughout the year. Um, so I just need to figure out best, the best way to film that. Um, there are quite a number of shirts that I won't be able to show you because they're still in packages, um, but they'll just make it into the 2023 version. So yes, that will be released on Wednesday, and that video will then stay up for a week until the week uh, Wednesday afterwards. Uh, so there will only be one sort of release uh, for a week. Um, but it's a big video. It takes a lot of effort, so that's kind of reasoning anyway ignoring all that we're going to jump into it now we're going to start with arsenal and their home away and third shirt so their home shirt is red and yeah it's red and white sorry what a surprise uh so they have uh not really anything that stands out too much in this one you've got your typical adidas street stripe running across the shoulders the uh, unique thing on this one is just sort of the collar has this sort of zigzag lightning bolt style that runs across the front there Adds a little bit of um, um, element of fun to the design, I guess. Um, they do also have this sort of a red little undercarriage there, which is quite nice, actually. I think that's a good way to do it. Um, so it's, it's a solid style. It's, it's an Arsenal home shirt, isn't it? Then you have their away shirt, which is like this black metallic gold combination. Uh, the stripes this time are in sort of a grey, like an anthracite style grey. And there is an abstract pattern on the front. I love the way that these sort of um, gold and the black um, sort of uh, contrast each other, I guess you would say. I think this is really, really nice. It's like a very cool stealth shirt. So, so far, I'd say that this one is the best one. And so we have this one. It's their third shirt, and it's pink. The first ever instance of them using pink on a football shirt. There is a subtle pattern on the front of the design. Um, I'm not sure if that uh, means anything. I possibly will do. Arsenal fans can sort of uh, inform me on that. Um, and then it also has a little bit of teal on the collar there. You know how much I enjoy seeing pink football shirts. So yes, I am a little bit jealous that Arsenal get to play in one of these. Um, if I was an Arsenal fan, this would be the first one that I would be buying. Um, so yeah, they've done really well, to be honest. The home shirt is simple, as you'd expect, kind of what I would hope anyway on a home shirt. And the way third shirts look great. So if these are the shirts that actually have to be released, then um, yeah, good times ahead for Arsenal, certainly with the shirts. Then we have Bayern Munich, home shirt, red and white. No surprise there again. Uh, apparently, this video is going out on the Friday. It should be debuted this coming up weekend. Um, that's what it's been sort of rumoured to be. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see it in the flesh, watch the Bundesliga. Um, it has sort of these white stripes that are running across the front in sort of uh, varying thicknesses. They kind of look fuzzy as well, sort of a weird design. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I've never really been a huge fan of Bayern Munich home shirts. Um, so this one, again, doesn't really do anything for me, but it's 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 fine. It's uh, pretty standard, isn't it, really? Chelsea, well, interests me, of course. Uh, apparently, it's Sesame Seed um, Gold, and then it has just general orange on the sort of cuffs there, I guess. Um, it's a really simple design. It's kind of where I wore this one, really, because it's kind of got the same sort of collar, nothing really going on, and obviously this is just blue, which I understand with a home shirt. Third shirt, yeah, it's a bit boring, isn't it, really, to be honest? The colours are interesting. It'd be one of those ones where I want to see in real life. I don't think a uh, graphic render can do it justice. Um, so we'll just have to see how it works. I, I still don't know how to think about this one, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Borussia Dortmund, uh, yellow and black, of course. And this time has like four stripes, but it's sort of like um, a block style. So they sort of break up around the pretty terrible sponsor one on one. Um, but I quite like that. And on the inside of the uh, stripes, there's like a geometric pattern. 
um, which is got a little bit subtle, but also really, really cool. Uh, again, I have... <laughs> Borussia Dortmund home shirts for me, not the most exciting. Uh, I've not really, well, I don't own a Borussia Dortmund shirt yet, um, but um, I'm not sure this one would be for me. Uh, they have released their away shirt though, which is uh, sort of reversed colors, black and yellow. It's like a half checkerboard style design running down here, really, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? It's, um, would it look better if it was all across the whole thing? I don't know, it's very difficult to tell. Um, it's just a sort of typical stumped away shirt again it's okay but for me i'm not going to be jumping out and running to buy it so we'll see what the third shirt looks like now we have juventus a home shirt white and black and it has a very interesting uh way of doing the vertical stripes that are pretty typical for a juventus shirt this time they're going for like a individual triangles that sort of somewhat tessellated together to form each individual stripe there and it's sort of a very futuristic and contemporary style there and it's kind of cool and i'm pretty certain i've seen this um before in person in a sports direct randomly i was there with my friend and we were just looking at uv shirts and then we just looked around the back and it was a kid's it was only a small shirt and it was it was that shirt and we were thinking why how is this why does this exist um how sports direct released this um but it's kind of cool and also the jeep logo i don't even notice but it's got like lightning electric running through it that's kind of interesting isn't it so yeah that's kind of cool Lille home shirt so red white and blue uh, color uh, set there are obviously a kazoo part of the kazoo team now um i mean I, to me uh, Lille kind of alternatively released good shirts it's like one season it's really good one season it's pretty rubbish one season's really good and i think this is probably Kind of rubbish. It doesn't do anything for me anyway. There's horizontal stripes. I like the spot the sponsors fitting in. Uh but these are sort of white ones at the bottom. Yeah. I kind of like what's going on with the with the, with the cuffs, that sort of difference there. That's rather nice, but for me, it's not not the best one they've done. Manchester United home, so it's red, of course, and it has a nineteen ninety-four triangle inspired collar design. So it's going for that retro look. Maybe they're trying to take inspiration from those good times and bring it forward to their not good times that they're experiencing right now. Um, and then I've also got the shield surrounding the crest, which is, a, again, a very sort of typical 90s approach sort of thing. Not something that I've ever been a fan of. I don't really see the need for it. It just makes it look clunkier and bigger. Um, so that one I will take away the points from. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's it's fine. Then you have Manchester City home shirt, sky blue, of course. Um, but it has this sort of maroon color around the collar and around the sleeves and then obviously separated with a white band also um it has central logos again so it's sort of not too dissimilar in that respect was it the third shirt for puma i'm not i don't like central stuff this one if it has to be central at least have it all central which is at least this is what they've done so that's okay um uh, but i'm not sure about the maroon um maybe man city fans can voice their opinions on that but um yeah, I, they've had some really good shirts recently. The home shirts are always difficult, but their away and third shirts have been good, so it'll be interesting to see how they look. Then you have uh, uh, Milan, uh, possible Italian champions when wearing this one. Um, of course, it's red and black. Now, it has um sort of um, interesting boxed-style horizontal stripes, so it's like horizontal stripe starts just there and then finishes there, so it's not always the top, not always the bottom. Interesting approach there. A lot of black floating around. I think the bottom part I like, but I'm not sure about the top part, how it works, certainly with the, sh with the shoulders. Um, but it's it's fine. And then um, on the cuffs, I do like the fact that they've got the Italian sort of flag there. So that's 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 really nice and trims. Um, so I, th I think it's 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 not too bad. It's it's decent, isn't it? PSG home shirt. Um, well, it's navy blue, white, as you'd expect, with a little bit of uh, red. Uh, you've got the sort of big thick white stripe that's back now separated with the red and then the navy and then of course the uh, sponsors in between there i don't dislike that i think that's pretty cool and then on the cuffs you've got the little little french flags on there which is nice it's pretty standard again you've got centralized logos which again if you have to do it at least have them all which is the case here um but again psg home shirts they don't really do much for me away shirt now this is interesting so it's a gray sort of black effort and it has this black single stripe that fades away it's sort of like it sort of um, dissolves or breaks away into the center and it's a way of sort of separating it but not quite with a sponsor and then it has a sort of i don't know like a ribbed effect with regards to the gray slightly different shade of it running all the way from top to bottom 
I think this is pretty cool. Um, I can sort of see this being more of a training shirt, though, possibly than, a, than a, an away shirt, but uh, we'll see what it looks like in person. And then to finish off this list, it's going to be Real Madrid, and it's their away shirt, and it's a purple color. That's what they're advertising it as. And it has geometric diamond sort of uh, pattern running across the uh, front here, like a tile effect. Uh, and then it has just your general navy cuffs around the collar and the sleeves. I think it's okay. It's it's sometimes with, with Madrid, they can be rather understated. Uh, it really depends on what shade of purple, more of like a violet, I'd say, and how it looks in person. Um, but, you know, that's it. We're, we're slowly getting there. If you combine both videos together, if you've not seen part one, watch part one because you'll see some more images there. Uh, we're slowly getting there. There are some interesting shirts. I'm looking at it and thinking... There's nothing there that really stands out that much, apart from possibly the Arsenal away and third shirts, which is really frustrating as a Chelsea fan. Um, but, you know, as always, these are not guaranteed to be released. And, of course, they may look different in person, specifically when sometimes the images are grainy and sort of mocked up, shall we say. Which shirts do you like the look of here? You're a fan of any of these clubs? Are you satisfied with how they're going to look? Or maybe you might want to avoid buying them if you don't get all of them every single season. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great weekend ahead. And the next video, if all goes to plan, will showcase every single shirt that I have in my collection, with the exception of the Chelsea shirts. Um, and yeah, hopefully it goes well because it's going to take me quite some time to film and edit that one. Anyway, goodbye.